What up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with another Fallout 4 Far Harbor Guide, and by another I mean the first one I've done. Anyways, we are going to get guard dogs for your settlements, and you can do this by coming to Horizon Flight 10 or 1207, which is located at Far Harbor, or not in Far Harbor, but on the Far Harbor map. It's real confusing because the name of the town is Far Harbor, but the name of the DLC is Far Harbor. But anyways, here it is on the map, and once you come here, you actually be uh, berated and yelled at and get a gun on pulled on you by Erickson here, who is a super mutant. He is a friendly super mutant, so he will not attack you. And he actually has some cool conversation that you go into, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video. Also, I had old uh, Longfellow with me as my follower, and him and Erickson had some cool interactions as well. So if you guys come here, make sure to bring uh, old Longfellow with you so you can get that interaction. But pretty much Erickson is the one who will sell you the dogs. He has three dogs on him at the time of this, and uh, he has Duke, which is, looks like a boxer kind of dog. You have uh, Mika or something like that, I can't really say the name, which is a wolf. And you also have Gracie, who is a super mutant hound. And you can buy either, um, either of them, and you can actually buy all three of them if you want to. And once you buy one of them, they just get replaced by a generic uh, named dog. So I bought Gracie, and when I came back here, I could buy another Super Mutant Hound for the same amount of caps, but it didn't have the name as Gracie. So when you buy one of these hounds, or these dogs, you can actually send them to any of your areas with a workshop at it, and where you can have settlers. So pretty much you can just send them to any of them, but they can't actually be your follower. You can just send them to the location, and they just kind of guard it for you. But once you actually figure out a location you want to send them to, the dog will pretty much just get up and run away. So as soon as I bought Gracie, I was like, all right, let's go Gracie. And she just takes off and runs away into the distance. And apparently she's going to run all the way back to the Commonwealth. But when I actually get to the location, she's just kind of patrolling. And when I try to talk to her, nothing really happens. So pretty much all it is, is that you now have a guard dog that actually just protects your settlement and your settlers. I picked a kind of a bad location since I have literally nothing at the drive-in. Uh, but if you actually want to send it to some place you have settlers, maybe it would be a good way to protect your settlement and your settlers. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Also, look how cool that Super Moon Hound is. Like, you don't actually get that close to him very often. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Clayton, signing out. Oh wait, also one more thing. You can shoot the cats in this game. Just figured I would tell you guys that. <laughs>